Neil Battaglia, SaxStation.com. All right, this is Amateur Saxophone Repairman, episode number two. And this is going to be a pretty quick episode. I'm going to talk about using tape on your saxophone. And sometimes you've probably seen things fixed with tape. Duct tape can do a lot of things. It can be useful in a variety of situations, really. But on the saxophone, sometimes tape is appropriate, sometimes it's not. I'm going to show you a few cases where you can use tape and maybe you can tend to not use tape in other situations because it's not always going to be useful. It's just sometimes useful. All right, so when I got this horn, and again, this is the 1925 Con soprano sax, it had a few issues. I had to get some pads replaced. I needed to replace some corks. And one thing here is the cork isn't actually missing on this palm key, on the bottom one for the D, but the cork was pretty worn down. And basically that was making this go up pretty high. And if it goes up higher than it should, that's gonna basically make the note more sharp. And anything with the palm keys is basically gonna use that palm key. So it affects the D, the E, the E flat, the F, um, and so on. Anything that uses the palm keys. So this key was going up a little bit too high. So you can approach that in two ways. I could have added on cork to this part right here, or I could have just taken it off completely, just put on a thicker cork. A quick solution though is actually to put a piece of tape right there. Yeah, so there's a piece of tape right, right there. It's somewhat thick because that was appropriate for the situation. If you made it too thick, it would maybe be too much. But basically that tape being there makes it so this doesn't go down quite as far, which makes the key not raise up quite as far which makes the notes a little bit more flat, or really a little more in tune in this case, because they're tending to be too sharp. And it's actually really easy to play sharp in the higher ends of a lot of older horns. It's easier to play a modern horn in tune, but at the same time, I've talked about vintage horns in another video, so sometimes it can be worth it, but you also do have to work a little bit harder. And another place where there's a little bit of tape where it was appropriate was actually on the bottom of this key. There's a little cork underneath this pearl right here, and putting a little bit of tape right there basically made those connect a little bit easier because there was a little bit of delay between pressing this key and having that be affected, and it should be really more immediate. And the reason that happened was that the cork got worn down. So yeah, so you can put tape in something like this. You can put tape on the horn itself. Uh, this is just scotch tape too, clear scotch tape. It's not gonna last forever, so it's kind of a temporary fix, but it could last, it's lasted a, it'll probably last at least a few weeks, maybe a few months, kind of depends. Tape can fall off. It's not designed as a, as a long-term solution for something like this. So probably later on I'll replace this cork or just add some more cork onto it. For this one, I might do the same thing. I might add a little bit of cork, but at the same time, that tape, if it's cut correctly, that tape might be an all right solution if you make it so it stays on there. And I might use a little bit more permanent kind of tape, maybe something that sticks a little bit better. Um, potentially it's not the best thing for the metal, but I think scotch tape is fairly harmless. So basically I have a couple pieces of tape on the saxophone. I have actually a piece of tape on another saxophone that I kept there. I think it's more like duct tape or something a little bit stronger, a little bit thicker. And it, it serves, I think, actually a similar function to this one. It keeps a key from going up too much. And you can do the same thing by replacing the cork, but if you don't have a piece of cork, so you're at a show or something, it's maybe easier to find some tape that you can use to repair something quickly.